Welcome back. Um, coming up on the holiday here. Came out to the shop today. Thankfully, it's a little warmer. It's 45. Nice temperature outside. Um, looking for things to do today. Just try to get something done. Um, I need some parts that I got to order and um, some of the things I want to get done next. Um, I don't have time to start today. But I do have time to start some other projects if I can um, get get busy on those. Um, two two kinds of projects basically. In uh, <clears throat> Land Rover Land, when you're fixing your Land Rover, there's one where you need money, and ones that you don't need money. So um, I've got a project I can start on um, that worked out to be negligence on my part. Maybe that's a good way to put it. Um, when we worked on the uh, Wipers, the last time I had to swap a motor, um, had to take the cowling off, I did all that, and I put it all back together. I didn't rehome correctly the wiper blades. Uh, and they, where they should home down here, they home in the middle of the windshield. So when you turn it on, it goes down and then all the way back up and stops here. Well, it's annoying. Is it something that has to be fixed? No, but it is super annoying and um, my obsessive compulsive disorder doesn't like to have the windshield wipers halfway up the windshield um, while I'm working on it. Uh, it's going to be a pretty complicated job. Um, we're going to have to uh, remove the hood and uh, remove the cowling, which is this piece right here. So this is um, going to be a challenge. I've done it before. The bonnet has to come off. The wiper arms have to come off. Um, and then to get this cowling off, you have to get down inside there and remove this bolt. And there's another one way back up under there. Uh, those are no fun to get to, by the way. Um, there's a bunch of screws across the top. It goes all the way over. Two, two bolts on each side. Whoop, get in the camera shot two bolts each side of the bonnet to get it off um, all the way across. So it's going to be uh, lots of little bitty turning of the screws and turning of the bolts just to get to this and just to get this to be back to center. So you can see it on the windshield. Let me back up a little bit. There we go. So you can see where it is. That's not a good place for it. It should be right about here should be right in here so down there but that's where it sits right now um, if I fiddle with the knobs a little bit I can get it to sit a little further down but otherwise it's uh, not ideal so um, I'm gonna take that all down and start taking bolts off of it and um, try to get somewhere on this one today so I'll be getting started on that right now uh, come back and talk to you again once I get a little more pieces removed. of washers on the back side so you gotta remember where they go so keep that in mind all right if I remember correctly this thing is heavy oh, fine bunch of tools off the desk oh Look for that. Oh. 
Okay, let's see if I can get this off here. Okay. Disconnect this stuff. This one. I zip tied that. So this is a clip. And this is a heater, and this has got a connector down here. And it's out of sight, of course. And you get to see the back of my head. Nice filming there. Oh, leaking out all my stuff. Hmm. That was not smart. What that sound was. It's going into a bucket. Okay. At least. at least I put a bucket under there for it to drain into. I'm going to be the smartest guy on earth, but there you have it. All right. Right there, right there. How do I get that one off? All the friction contacts. So. <sighs> Somebody remind me to put some dielectric in the connector when I'm done. It's terrible. I'm having a heck of a time getting to that. Two hours later. Ew, I'm on the struggle bus. What's going on here? Two hours later. Okay, those are all good. More on this side. Dielectric grease. Okay. This this could be colossally stupid. I forgot. I, this is probably too heavy for me to lift by myself.
Might be a good spot for it. I think that's gonna work. I won't have to move it again. I'll have to get Mr. Fisher over here to help me but when I put it back on, because that's a two person job. Okay, more screws. We need number three. Number threes. Let's get some number three action started here. So yeah, that was super cringe-worthy. You were cringing. Yes, I did scratch the paint up. But the paint is not exactly doing very well anyway. So once again, it's really in bad shape even to begin with. So all that's going to have to get sorted out anyway. So uh, that's, what I, that's what I have for about that. Maybe next time I'll remember to test it before I put it back together. I'll find out. Doing it the hard way. And then some nuts are unnecessary. Bolts are unnecessarily long. Looks like we're gonna have some rust to abate as well. So that's gonna need to be replaced with styra steel, stainless steel. And those, that's just, that's in bad shape. One down, 42 million to go. One down, three to go. Let's see if we can get back in there. Okay, I'll take our tool back there. Let's see if we can get our hand back in there. Unfortunately, on the other side, I'll have to do this with my left hand. That's going to be no bueno. I wonder what tool the factory would tell you to use to get this off.
Yay! Two of four. Not as rusted, but still a tad bit rusty. Definitely corroded a little bit. But compared to the other one, compared to the other one, one's positively dry. I think I did this with an air tool last time, honestly. I got an air tool back in there. I bought a small air ratchet. I was able to push the button if I lined it up just right. I don't even remember. I think that's what I did. Can't turn them with my fingers, so. His lips are catching that other. Okay. Not bad. A little aluminum corrosion, basically. Otherwise, not terrible. Get two watches off. Wiring room in the way with a very sharp piece of plastic here. Keep that out of the way. But is it out of the way? No. And that is going to cut me to ribbons. I stick my hand in there with it. Flip that so that will come off, but I can't remember how to do it. Let me cut that off. It's not working anyway. Imagine what that did to my hand. If I had to run my hand on that. And this is the other side. That would just Cut me all the ribbons. somebody else's hands in here smaller than mine and I'm severely right-handed I'm almost handicapped with my left hand putting my left hand in there is just not getting it done come up with a plan B I can't get my hand in there wiring looms in the way and 
that's difficult to get to. I don't wonder what damage am I doing moving that one loom like that. All right, let's see if I can get my hand in there now. I was talking to Charlie Blankenship one time about this, and I think he said they made a tool for this. <laughs> Just for this job. Had to build a tool for it. Not a surprise. It's a very difficult angle to get everything into. Oh, I get some motion. In about an eighth of a turn, even with this fun, fancy, flexy handle, I'm gonna get in about an eighth of a turn. Sixty-four turns later, I might have this an inch. Still questioning why they use the inch long bolt for this task. <sighs> Ta da! Yeah, that one's rusty too. Got a bit of rust on it. We got it out. Okay. Step on it. Twenty-two millimeters. Just lucky enough to have that one in the toolbox. You can see that they're getting quite perished. So this one's cracked up pretty bad. On to the other side.
this one's even in worse condition. Rubber. Let's see how I ever get that out of there. Now, trick is I gotta get these bent down. I'm trying to remember if I ratchet strapped those last time. I think I ratchet strapped those last time. It's not a bad idea. Not a terrible idea anyway. I don't remember how I did this one because I can't get a ratchet strap to it. Okay, the next thing you're gonna have to do is get these down. And needless to say, they are under great amount of pressure because the spring the lift to compensate the weight of the bonnet. So I think I ratchet strapped these last time. So I'm gonna try that again, I think. Okay, and I forgot those screws back there. Where there they are, right there. You can see them. That one right there, and then the one below it. Let's get those out. Okay, sorry about that. You missed out. I did move this unintentionally, and then it came out, and then it was on like Donkey Kong, so I had to do something, and... Uh, I couldn't film while I was doing it, so. But I did use a vice grip for a cheater bar, but once you get to that point, you can just lift it. To get it free of the windshield. I don't have to tear that up too much, but good gosh. It's probably a two-person job. See, I had some stuff to keep the leaves out. Didn't do a very good job. So we're going to be vacuuming that all out. And we're going to get some new foam, which I'll have to source online which foam is the best, what would be best for this. It needs to be glued back in place. Anyway, it's off. Simple enough, right? All right, here's my motor. So I've got to. We get that we got that in the shot yeah we do all right let's move it over there so we can see it all right so basically we've got the windshield wipers on in a certain spot and what i did wrong was i put this piece the cam rod back onto the motor in the wrong position so i'm going to need to move that so i'm going to put the wipers back on and get them in the right place once i start uh getting this disassembled here so I can get to that take that bolt off and then take that nut off and then I can pull that and get it set in the right spot so I can assume that the park spot which now that I've got so much crap up here um, the park spot for this is right there it should be right there so I need to get this bonnet off of there so I can get the battery hooked up so that I can test the wipers as they move back and forth and find where I think the park spot is for this. And then I can adjust, move this wiper, rot, this cam rod over and put it where it's at. It should be in the park spot right now. I may start there and see if I can get what I want out of it. So the 13. Start with that plan. These are the these are the springs we were battling against when we were in here. The, trying to get that you can see how they're cantilevered onto the hinges. Okay, off it comes. I think. Okay. All right. Okay. Right 
Those should be, I don't even have a maintenance point on those, you would think. where the park needs to be, right there. Put that back on. Small part of me it says leave this cowling off because I'm about to have a windshield installed. I want to have a windshield installed, so I really need to have the ability. I bought a new rubber seal, windshield seal. So if I have this off and they come to do the install of that, it might be easier for them and easier for me. So uh, we may go with that. Okay, we got it in, got the bar set, uh, the uh, wiper blade set where I think I want the home to be. Got the battery connected, and so I'm gonna give it a shot. Let's turn it on, see if it comes back. Okay, see what it's doing there? Passing, passing, so we need to stop and see what's going on there. Where do I put that so that it doesn't do that? the home so the home is here when I turn it off that's where it stops so maybe I need to be a little further up on that so I can adjust this or I have to adjust this which one do I adjust it's a good question it's a puzzler okay all right I'm gonna fiddle with it for a little bit and we'll find another spot Okay, I think I got it figured out. All right, the secret. You ready for the secret? Everybody wants to know the secret, right? Okay, the secret is the travel of this arm right here. So where I had it set before, it was only traveling to like, I had it set at rest, it was sitting over here. So I moved this to rest where I noticed when I ran it without an arm on it, how far this arm came this way. So the maximum travel was more or less this angle right here, where you see it, that angle. That was the maximum travel, okay? So to adjust this, you have to use this screw here. So you pull that off, move this arm right here. I'm gonna get a better angle on that over here. Right there. You move this arm right here to push this rod that way, which in turn moves this rod to its maximum place over here. That was the trick, I think. So when I flip on the wipers now, it travels right where I want it to travel, right there and up there. Could probably move it another inch, because this is too far down. I don't care about this distance right here. I could move it up there but that's just an adjustment right here. So I just gotta pull that off, get it a little bit more turned, and then be good with it. All right, one more adjustment. Okay, final adjustments made. Just adjusting this arm to fit and work, and now, Yay! Hey, real test, does it park correctly? It does. If you bang away at it long enough, you actually can get something accomplished. Yay! Okay, so I've got the 
got the wipers sorted out. I'm going to leave the bonnet and the cowling off um, because this windshield is going to be replaced uh, along with this windshield still. Uh, it leaks something fierce on the uh, passenger side. I really haven't ever noticed where the water egress part is. If it's here or if I've got rust somewhere, I won't know till they pull it all out and take a look at where that's getting in. Water's getting in somewhere though, down here or here. I'll have to take a look in here and see. I don't think there's any leaks up there, but that's where it's at right now. So I got it done. Very happy about that. That's been a been a bother for a long time for a guy that I just don't like it when things aren't just quite right like they should be. And uh, I should have fixed that the first time. I feel bad. Uh, I feel it's laziness. That's all it is. I uh, should have fixed that the first time when I took it apart and uh, got it sorted out the right way the right time. So um, I'm going to do that. We got that sorted. Okay. I think that's everything I've got. If you like the videos, like and subscribe. And if you don't, don't. I don't care. Anyway, uh, we're getting it done. I think that's everything. I'll come back later. Thank you very much. Have a good day.